Hi, I'm the Tipsy Gypsy, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to open up a box. I, I've been promising you that I'm going to start opening up some vintage clothing that I have boxed up. I've had boxed up for since the 90s when I closed my vintage clothing shop. And so I'm going to start unboxing some of these boxes and show you what's in there. Um, I want to just backtrack just real quickly here before I open up the box and just tell you that I used to have a vintage clothing store, of course, and I closed that and moved out into the country, and my husband and I renovated a giant school bus and turned it into a vintage clothing store out in the country. And so I had a lot of it there, and so some some of this is mixed up between that stuff and the stuff I've had boxed for 20-some-odd years. So um, we're both going to be surprised. I have so many boxes in my garage, I don't even know what's in there anymore. So I'm going to start unboxing this, and you're going to just go right along with me. Um, I've got a box here, and what I'm going to do is when I pull these items out here, I'm going to hang them up behind me here so that you can kind of, a lot of them you're going to need like a, a full, full view of them. And so the only way I can do that is to hang them up. And so this is going to be like Christmas because I haven't been through these boxes, some of them since we moved back into the city, which was in 2012. Some of them have been boxed up since the 90s. So, oh, cute. Okay, I remember this. This is adorable. I'm going to stand up here and this is, if you watched any of my other uh, videos, this is one of my favorite flannels. I did one on all of my flannels. Today it's really cold. It is March, and it's snowing again, which is, I mean, it's pretty typical of where I live, but it was, uh, I had a big garage sale yesterday, and it was almost 70 degrees, and today it's snowing. So look at this. Isn't that adorable? It's a, like a bolero, and it's a short jacket, and you can see the buttons on the bottom here. And it's even got a little fake pocket, but it's a shorty, and, and uh, let's see, it's made by O-U-I-S-E-T. We set? I don't know. But you can kind of see, isn't that just gorgeous? So that is the first one out of, out of this whole box here. This is a big box, so this is kind of fun going through this. I haven't seen this in so long. This I don't think I had in my bus. I don't remember, but... And this is just a beautiful wool jacket by Evan Picone. It's got a lot of fuzz on it, you can see that, but it's it's just a, a two-button blazer. And let's see here. I'm going to try to find some really, really fun goodies here. Oh, and yeah, you're going to like this one. Look at this. This is a letter jacket. And by the way, all of this is for sale, so if you're interested in any of this, just uh, drop me a comment or private, send me a private message. And this is all for sale because this is how I'm putting myself through school again. I'm back in school. And so, Pomona. I, I bet you that's from California. Pomona, California. See that beautiful leather? Not leather. Leather jacket. I really like it. Charlene was the name, and it's got all of the patches and the leather trimmed. I think that's either leather or naga hide, but yeah, that's cool. See that in the back? So it's red and black. So these are all for sale. If you see something that you want, send me a message. Uh, I, I'm going to try to put the measurements of everything in each box below when I'm done here. So if you want to check the measurements, it's all going to be on there. And look at this. Look how cute this one is. This is probably a 1960s. And it is black and white striped. I don't know if you can see that. And of course, it's a vintage label. And Anne Murray. Anne Murray. Isn't that cute? It's a three quarter sleeve. Got the really big buttons. Kind of a boxy cut. Well, this would look really, really cute over some sort of a, a really like a pencil skirt, a, a, like a, a pencil skirt that is a straight 
straight cut with no flare. It'd look good with just about anything. It wouldn't have to be that. Oh, here's another black. Oh, this is cute. This is another black blazer. So mo these are all going to be jackets and blazers. Um, blazers, suit coats, sports coats with, for women. But this is velvet. Look at that. You can see. Try and get this in the right light here for you to see. But it's also got a really cute um, belt on the back. So, so you can see that there. I hope I'm, I, you're able to see this in the right light. I got a new light, so I'm trying something new today. I don't think I had very good lighting in, in some of my other videos, so I ordered some new lighting. And this is really cute, too. Look at this. Now, this is from the 60s. And it's almost, it feels like linen. Can you see that? And it's got fabric colored, fabric covered buttons on it. And this is by Tudor Square. Did you see that? It's got the little pockets here. They're real pockets. Let's see the back. Yeah, that would look really cute. That, you know, I, I did another video on how to dress vintage that you don't have to have everything vintage. And this is one of those examples. This you could just wear to the office over a skirt or a pair of slacks that aren't vintage. I mean, they could be vintage, but they wouldn't have to be. And this would look really, this would be just a great addition because it has really cute lines. And you don't have to have the whole outfit vintage. You can have just one piece, and this could be that one piece. Um, and it, it just would really, really look cute wearing it with some of your, your work attire. And so oh. <laughs> Okay, now this is cool. This is for you guys. So I don't have a whole lot of men's things. And so this is one of those. Look at this. I don't know if any of you out there remember WKRP Cincinnati. And the guy, the salesman, who used to always wear the really funny, funky leisure suits. So this is probably a jacket to a leisure suit. Look at that. I'm going to hang this up here so you can see it full length. It's got, it doesn't button close. That's interesting. And it feels, this almost feels like chenille. It's really thick. almost feels like, like a carpet bag. And this is by Chess King, and it's a size 36. It was made in Yugoslavia. That's where my family came from. Well, my grandparents, great-grandparents moved here with my grandparents when they were little. But there's that. I'm going to let you see this up close. It's almost got like a puckered look to the fabric. But it's got the green and the yellow and the orange and the beige. You can see all that. See the puckering in the fabric there? Can you see what I'm talking about? This is really cool. This is very 60s, very 1960s. So if you guys out there want something from the 60s, and <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really, I see it all the time here. Now I, I see guys wearing old leisure suits, young guys I'm talking about. So it must be coming back because I've seen it quite a bit lately. And so that would look really great over just a pair of jeans. You wouldn't have to wear it with anything but jeans and a t-shirt. And look at this. And this still has a price tag on it. Better take that off. So this is a denim jacket with a flannel, a plaid flannel lining. Look at that, how cute that is with all the pockets. And look at all the detail on the arms. Can you see that? It's got pockets on the arms even. Look at that. And then it's got this little detailing in the, the flannel. And it's got a hood. This is darling. And then it's got the front pockets there. The label is, it says it's 100% cotton, but I don't see a manufacturer's label. I'm going to hold this up here. You can see how cute that is. And it has these. You can tighten it on the bottom, too. You can adjust the fit. Lots of pockets and snaps. I like that. And so let's see. Let me get another one. Oh, yeah, another letter jacket. Okay. 
This is a really like bright green. ENMU. I don't know what that Diane. But that's really cool. This is wool, just like the other one was also wool, really thick. Look at that, it's got the pockets on it. I'm gonna hold it a little bit further away up here so you can see the whole thing. And here's the back. Look how cute that is. And it's a size 34. Yeah, I like that. Look how I'm gonna show you up close. Isn't that neat? The little things that they sewed on there. The, I want to say chenille. It's not chenille. It's something else. I can't think of the word right now. But okay, here's a velvet or velveteen. It's not really velvet. It's a ladies' blazer, and it looks much brighter. I think in the picture than it does in person. It's like a maroon or like a burgundy color with light pink and gray in it. It looks brighter in the picture. It's really not as bright as it looks. But you can see that, I hope. You see the velveteen? Now, let me hold it up here. You can see the whole jacket. It's got pockets on the bottom. And it's got the slit in the back. It's just a really, really cute jacket. I'm going to try to get a better close-up. I don't know if... There. It looks a little bit better from there. So can you see that? How cute that is? That's really a pretty fabric. Nice colors. Of course, I'm partial because I like pink. Whoa. Okay. What is this? I don't remember this at all. This must be from the 90s because I don't remember any of this. Look at this. Now this is cool. Look at the colors on that. And this is heavy. This is a knit. Some sort of a really heavy cotton knit with this the orange, not orange, it's yellow and red kind of embroidered into it. And it's got a lining. And look at that neat neckline. It just barely folds down. It reminds me of something Elvis wore because he always had those that just barely folded down. They were kind of up on the neck. But can you see that fabric there? It's a knit and it's really heavy. This would be great in the winter. Let's see. There, that's better. I think you can see a little bit better there. But I really like that collar. It just barely folds down. And I don't, I'll bet you this was handmade, I don't see any labels on it at all. Just a little side note, it's got a tiny little tear here on the inside. Let me see if I can get that. Oh, not so tiny. It might need to be sewn back in, but uh, it's there. And it doesn't look like anything's missing. It looks like it's right on the seam. So that should be an easy fix. But that would look really, really cute. Uh... Especially if you're in a band. If you know anybody who's in a band, that would look really neat up on stage. It's just so bright and bold. The colors are bold. You definitely stand out. Look at this. How cute. This is white. Look at how cute that is. This looks like something Mary Tyler Moore <laughs> would wear. Look at that. And this is probably from, I would say, probably the 70s. Look at all the pockets on that. Isn't that cute? Well, that light's making it look really bright, huh? And there's the back. It's gathered. So this would be a really a fitted type uh, blazer. But that would really look cute over leggings, too. And it's got gold brass-colored buttons. I don't know if they're really brass or not. But they're brass-colored, for sure. And this is that... Let me show you the fabric here. This is a polyester knit. This is, but it's not as thick as some of it that you would see. But it's really pretty. It's snow white. It's white, white, white. Oh yeah, I remember this one now. This, this is really cute. This I believe is silk, because you can, if you can see the nubbiness on the fabric there. I don't know 
if you can see that. That light isn't the greatest either. I'm gonna have to work with it, so bear with me. I'm I'm trying to kind of shore things up and, and put together videos with better lighting, but here's the jacket. And it folds, the, uh, the sleeves fold up, and it's a pink silk underneath. It almost feels like linen on the outside, and then it's lined in this beautiful silk. It's kind of a nubby, a nubby silk. And it's a mustard yellow. This, I would say, is probably from the 60s. And look at the inside. Look at that pretty on the inside, that color. And that, that's silk. So let me open this up and see. Oh, yeah, so the entire inside is like that. And then you have, look at the buttons, how cute. They used to really make things with such panache. Can you see the button? That's just darling. Oh, it's got different different buttons. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe the buttons came off. There's another button. It's a little bit different. Anyway, this was by Studio Silks. <laughs> so, yeah, I was right. It's silk. That's darling. That is really cute. And that would be a really good one to wear to the office as well. That, that could be worn to work very easily. Oh, and this is cute. Yeah, this is 1960s. I remember my mom wearing stuff like this. Look at how cute that is. And it's short. It's not a long one. And look at how darling. Got big buttons. These pockets are fake. But isn't that cute? Kind of a, a chocolate brown and off-white stripe. And it's lined. And it's got the three-quarter sleeves. So this would be something that you could wear when it's a little bit warmer or cooler. It wouldn't really matter. But this is one of those versatile pieces. Like I was telling you, everything doesn't have to be vintage. You could wear this over a skirt or a pair of slacks to work. And this could be how you start wearing your vintage. Is you just add one piece at a time. And if you can do the whole outfit, that's great. If you're comfortable doing that, a lot of people start out easy, you know, with just one or two pieces at a time. But I'm going to let you see the fabric here up close. It's almost got a puckered, like the other one I was showing you, it's got a kind of a puckered look to the fabric. Now that would just be really a cute accent for an outfit. <laughs> this one is a micro suede. You, I don't know if any of you remember that. It feels like, a, like chamois, real fine suede. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Let me see. And this is by MJ Seattle. But look at the cute buttons. Isn't that cute? And you can kind of see how the fabric is suede. And this is almost almost like a cape. And look at on the bottom. It has, I mean on the side, it has those. And it, it's open. So you could wear something really colorful underneath. Got pockets, and they're real pockets. But that's really cute. And that really, it's a, a dark, like a navy navy blue. But that would just look really cute on. Okay, there's that one. I don't know what the fabric is. It, it, it might be cotton, it might be polyester, I don't know, but it feels like suede. And this is really cute. So this is a 1960s. Almost has a linen look to it. It's got the nubby fabric. Look how cute that is. And it's a short one as well with three quarter length sleeves and they're full up here at the shoulder. And this is, just hold it together like that. It doesn't have anything. You know what they used to use back then is they would use these, they had a clip on each side and they were decorative. Sometimes they had um, beads, sometimes they were just chains, and they you would clip it to each side and it would hold it together, and so you would have, and it would drape down. And this is kind of a gray and black and white, and it really looks like linen, but it's a much lighter weight. This feels almost like silk. It might be silk. But isn't that really cute? And look at the sleeves, all the detail to the sleeves. I'm going to try to give you a really good look at the fabric here. Can you see the nubby? But that would just look really cute over something black. And it would just be a nice, 
one piece accent, your vintage piece. We're getting down to the bottom here. Oh, this is a 1940s. Okay, so this is a, a navy blue wool. This is from the 40s. And look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And it's a nice fitted. Look at the pockets. Look at the detail on the pockets even. They, they have a little chevron type shape to them and the fabric covered buttons. And the other button is there. It's not missing. It's just not buttoned. Right, let's see if I can get that done here. So you can see what the jacket looks like buttoned. And look at that. Isn't that darling? And let's show you the collar. It's got the notched collar as well. And it's got pleats. It's got a, a bust pleat and like darts down the front. And oh, and even look at that up at here. Can you see that up here? The chevron look. Like a little handkerchief pocket up there. Can you see that? Boy, it's got so many details. Oh, it's got another one there. And it doesn't have a slit in the back. It's just solid. Beautiful. This is just a beautiful, not the the wool like a like you would. I don't know how to. If you're familiar with 40s, you know what I'm talking about. It's not the wool like a wool coat. This is almost like a smooth. This is just how they made the the blazers back then. The sports suit coats for ladies. Only got a couple more pieces in here. That's this. Oh. <laughs> Now look at that. Isn't that cool? This is it almost feels like the made in Nepal. I was going to say it feels like the Guatemalan type fab or the jackets that they make in Guatemala. So this is from Nepal. So they make a lot of similar things in, in Nepal. That, but look at that. That is a really nice. Can you see that? The fabric is tech, very heavily textured. And it's gray and white, and it's got that ripply look to it. And the buttons, one, two, three, five buttons, and they're all different. I don't know if that's original or if somebody put that on there, but this is a lightweight jacket. It it's uh, it could be worn almost all year long, especially if you're working indoors. But look at that. And this is more casual. This isn't, I guess you could try to dress it up. But this is really more casual, and these are the kind of things, I, when I lived in San Diego, I used to see people wearing stuff like this to the beach. But it's got the pockets. Can you see that? That is really a, a nice looking jacket. And we're getting to the bottom. Let's see. How much do we have left? I think we have one other piece besides this. Oh, this is nice. Now this is definitely from the 60s. It's got that hippie look to it. And it's, it feels like linen, or maybe it's, it's cotton, but it's got this beautiful, colorful trim. Can you see all the different colors in there? And then it's got the buttons down the front. And even on the sleeves, look what the sleeves look like. Boy, somebody put a lot of work into this. There's a lot of detail. Let me hang this up. There's a lot of detail to this, and this is really... If you like that hippie look, this is definitely this is definitely going to give you that look. Look how cute that is. It's got the pockets, and it's got this colorful strip down the front, and it's got the blue lines, and I mean the white lines through the center. Oh, look at that. That's nice and colorful in the back, too. Isn't that pretty? You see that? But this feels either like linen or it's it's got that nubby texture to it. You can probably see it here. And it's even got, they put a button on there. How cool is that? That's a nice piece. I like that. This is the kind of stuff I like to wear. All right, I think we're down to our last. Oh, I don't know if this is a two-piece. Hold on here. No, it's not. But they're both, they look, they're almost the same color, navy blue. And this is a, this is a Pendleton jacket. And this is a wool, it's a shorty. A nice wool, navy blue. Let's 
can see those are silver. You can see up close here the buttons have a design on them. You can see the Pendleton label. And this is just a really nice, very plain sports jacket for women to wear to the office. And it's kind of a boxy cut. And look at the trim on the bottom. It's got that chevron, upside down chevron trim on the bottom. It's really cute. That's a nice wool. Pendleton. That's everybody likes Pendleton. Oh, here's a Lillian. I have a Lillian. Yay! So this jacket here has, uh, it almost looks like if you look at the front, it almost looks like hand detailing. I don't know if it is, but the really wide stitch, and you can see it up here too. This is one of my, I have quite a few Lillians, and I, I didn't remember if I put them all together, but obviously I didn't. And the pockets are real pockets, they're not fake. And you've got the cutout lapel here. And this is like a nubby, I don't know what this is. It's a nubby fabric. You can see it up close. Can you see the, the nubbiness in there? That's a beautiful navy blue button-down lace sports jacket. That would be great for the office. And let's see. Oh, wait a minute. We have one more. One more. No, oh, this is 60s. I remind my, <laughs> my oldest sister used to wear stuff like this. This reminds me of my oldest sister. And it's almost like a cape. Or it kind of is a cape, actually. But it has uh, the fold-down collar. But this is the real, it almost is like a rug. They used to, actually like upholstery. They used to make upholstery like this in the 60s. Because I remember my sister had a couch like that. But this is just a really cute bubblegum pink. I don't think this is giving you a very good view. Let me turn the light off for a minute and see if it's any better. Oh, you can get a better... Can you see the fabric a little bit better that way? And it's got little flecks of, of gold thread in there. But isn't that just adorable? That would be just absolutely adorable. Wear it to a concert, wear it to work. Yeah, that is just really, that's precious. Okay, so that was my latest, or don't want to say latest, but um, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these now because I need to we're going to be moving soon and I need to get rid of all of my vintage so like I said if you're interested I'm doing these videos and trying to show you piece by piece I'll put the measurements underneath do me a favor like and subscribe and hit that notification button the bell up there and you'll be notified when I upload a new video that way you you'll you won't have to ask me you know when you put in a new video you'll just be notified I'm going to be doing this. I, I just have re literally my closet and my uh, garage is floor to ceiling with boxes. I've got to get rid of it because we're going to be moving in about a year. So I need to liquidate. My prices are going to be really good. So and also if you're a dealer and you want to buy in bulk, I can give you even better prices. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>